In this tutorial I'll show you how to make this model of the Google Android. First thing I'm going to do is go to the view menu, view properties. I'm going to scroll up and close these. I'm going to tick background image and open up this, add image, click this arrow to open up, open, go to my folder with my Android image. Open that. To see the background image, you have to go into one of the orthogonal views. I'm going to go into front. That's still perspective, so I'll toggle the perspective, and there's my background image. With the cube selected, press the delete button. Add mesh cylinder. In the cap fill type, change n-gon to triangle fan. Now instead of having a single face at the top of the cylinder, we'll have multiple triangular faces. I'm going to scale the background to match the 3D model rather than the other way around, where possible. So I'm going to reduce the size of the background to get the width of the Android body to match the width of the cylinder. I'm going to zoom in and also go into wireframe display and shrink the size of the background image till it matches the cylinder. Next I'm going to move the background image up and I'm going to adjust the Z scaling of the cylinder. I'm going to go into edit mode and do loop cut and slide and click and slide down just to where the curvature at the bottom starts. I'm going to turn the background image off and go into bottom view. I'm going to turn a solid display on and go into edge select mode and select one of the radial edges press B for B select and select all the radial edges then I'm going to go to subdivide and change the number of cuts to 2 I'm holding down alt and selecting one of these edges and I'm going to press S to scale and move that out to about where the curvature would start about there. Again holding down the ALT key I'm going to select one of the outer edges. I'm then going to press S for scale and scale that in just about a quarter of a face. I'm then going to go into front view and turn the background image back on and press G to grab and Z for Z direction and move that up to about there. At this point we have a very low polygon count model of the Android body. If I go into uh, vertex selection mode we can see that we've got 162 vertices, 32 of which are selected. Edges, we have 352 edges, 32 of which are selected. And faces, our polygons, 192 faces, not of which are selected. I'm going to turn off the background image and I'm going to go to the material button. I'm going to add a new material which I'm going to call Android. Press enter. And in the diffuse color, I'm going to go to hex and I'm going to paste in the official Android color which I got from the Google website. I'm going to go into object mode and turn smooth shading on. And there we have a low poly model of the Android body. If you want a smoother, more shaped body but with a higher polygon count, then we would add the subdivision surface modifier. Um, obviously we need to do a bit of work. 
The ridges at the top are caused because triangular faces do not subdivide very well. To cure the problem, I'm going to go into top view and edge select mode and select a radial edge, press B for B select and select all the radial edges, click subdivide and increase the number of cuts to two and that should get rid of the ridges. To give the model a small curved edge at the top, I'm going to select this ring of edges and press S for scale and move that close to the edge and go into front view and do a loop cut and slide and move that up very close to the top and just for luck I'm going to put a loop cut right in the middle going into object mode we see that we have a nice smooth shaped body and if you increase the number of views it's even smoother but if you apply that then obviously you'll get a much higher polygon count. I'm going to go into the properties of the cylinder and give it a more meaningful name, so I'll call it body. I'm going to go to the front view and put the background image back on. I'm going to shift a middle mouse to pan down and I'm going to hide the body and I'm going to add mesh UV sphere. I'm going to press G for grab and Z for Z direction and move the sphere up. I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to select an edge from the bottom half of the sphere. I'm going to toggle limit selection to visible and I'm going to press B for B select and select below the middle horizontal line. I'm going to delete vertices. Uh, I'm going to press A for all and then G for grab and Z for Z direction again and just move that up a bit. Holding down the Alt key I'm going to select the bottom ring of edges I'm going to view bottom and turn background image off. I'm going to press E to extrude immediately followed by enter. That creates a duplicate set of vertices ready to extrude. If I press S to scale I can extrude inwards. I'm going to repeat that E to extrude followed by enter followed by S to scale and extrude inwards. And one more time E to extrude enter S for scale and I'm going to move the mouse pointer right to the middle of the circle. I'm going to go into object mode. I'm going to view from the front. I'm going to turn on smooth shading. I'm going to put the background image back. I'm going to put the material to be the Android green and I'm going to rename it head. I'm going to redisplay the body and now we have a low poly head next to a high poly body which doesn't look very good so I'm going to add the subdivision surface modifier to the head as well and put the view to 2 the same as the body and now we have two smooth shaped components.